What's going on everyone? My name is Patterson. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Insurgents Rank Lock. In the last episode, we beat down the fourth gym leader, unfortunately losing our new addition to the team, which was Pepper. You know, it's, it's not such a big deal because she wasn't a new addition to the team, but it always hurts to lose a Pokemon. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to head into this hotel, which looks more like an old chateau than a... Sorry, it's a hospital. <laughs> looks more like an old chateau than anything else, but we're going to go in there and see what's going on with the power cuts and see who is up to some nefarious deeds. There's so much litter around here. It's pretty disgusting. Look at all this litter. It's disgusting. It's terrible. But before we do that, of course, we're going to have a look at the team and see what we're working with today. So... Uh, we didn't add anyone to the team because I forgot to do grinding in between episodes, so that might come back to bite us, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. We have anti setting here level 57, with will always Flame Burst, Imprison, and Hex. Putting here level 59, with Power Up, Belly Drum, Yawn, and Body Slam. We have Liz level 57, with Bite, Body Slam, Earth Power, and Venishock. And Madman level 55, with Earthquake, Minimize, Bulldoze, and Rock Tomb. That is the team, and if you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to give that like button a little bit of a tick, a little bit of a destruction, maybe. I don't know, if you're feeling nasty, if you're feeling violent today, or if you just want to give it a little tickle under the chin. Uh, either way is fine. You will do the, the same things anyway, so, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Sir, are you okay? Oh, well, all right, well, you're moving, so that's good. Welcome to Sonata Hills, youngster. There aren't many folk here. Wait, what? It's, it's, you, did you not notice the power cut? Sir. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Well, I mean, I, I guess he doesn't really care? Now, let's see how, uh, oh, I'm about to steal, uh, I shouldn't do this. I, sh I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this. I really, I shouldn't, I should not do that. I should not take his things. I shouldn't do it. So, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to take his things. <laughs> Shh, my patient is trying to sleep. Don't go rifling through his things on the table either. Those don't belong to you. Too late. <laughs> it's too late to put them back because there's no option to put them back. Yo, this place is huge. How y'all doing there, Grandma? That's peaceful hospitalized. Don't stay along. We use the healing ability to bark about this bear of recovery. Shouldn't every hospital do that? I mean, technically, that's that sounds like a good idea, right? Use these Pokemon to heal people up. That that seems that seems good. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? And it's oh wow, this is a. Uh, if you can, if you take that in a certain kind of context, that's incredibly depressing. That's incredibly depressing. You you you're in a hospital. You've been diagnosed with some uncurable disease. Uh, euthanasia isn't a thing. Uh, you're in horrible pain. So what do you do? Use the escape. Oh, that's so depressing. Nah, I didn't sign up for the feels in this game. I didn't sign up for that. Let me steal your shit. Oh, Dragon Ball. Sorry, now I'll talk to you. Hey, what's up? A trainer. I remember those days well. Now I'll have you know I was one of the best. Watch out for the I already did. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that sorry. I'm not actually that sorry, but I did take your stuff, though. What are you doing? Oh, there's no one here. All right, so, <laughs> I guess if we just keep rifling through people's things, we can just, like, yeah, we can just, like, take all of this shit, and no one even, no one gives no cares. No one cares I'm stealing the property of some elderly old people. Elderly old people, that's a bit redundant, isn't it? Oh, hey there, Grandpa. Don't mind if I just take your burn heels. What are you doing here? He's asleep, and I just, I just, I just walked in and took all of his stuff. Like, is this some kind of karma system? Am I, am I gonna get, like, attacked for this? Because I probably should. <laughs> I probably deserve it. Like, if there's any way my lock's gonna end, it should be from stealing from this guy. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, you came from Coliseum XD land. That's nice, I like that land. It's, like, my favorite land. Actually, it's not my favorite land, but I do like that land. I'll, I'll give it to you. All right, any more stuff I can steal? <gasps> you bet there is. A Pokeball. Sweet. All right, how about in this room? Lucky door number nine. I don't, oh, oh no, you okay? Man's asleep in his bed. It looks like he has bandages on his head. Fucking bars. Spitting straight heavy bars. I wish I could spit, spit straight heavy bars. That would be fucking fantastic. That would be fantastical. I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost in this place already. This, this is great. Uh, anyway, we got more stuff to steal. So that's always nice. There's always more stuff to steal. Uh, okay, if I already, I, see, I, I can't tell if I've already been in these places or not. Wait, hello? Did I talk to you? Yes, I had talked to you. All right, so, apparently, if we go back up here, and we take it around town. Yeah, that's where it needs to go. At least it should be. Oh, my goodness, look at this shit. And now I'm back to the beginning again. <laughs> okay, 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 I see what you're doing here. How can I possibly get lost in here? I almost have to, like, check every room. That could be a thing. I'm gonna have to check every room. Hello? Uh, anyone, anyone home? Anyone, you know, hello? Most people don't say, what? What's, 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 what's happening? What's, mm, fucking, what's, what's, what's happening here? Oh, hello. 
I was just dismissed from the hospital yesterday, so I'm packing my things up. I wouldn't leave anything behind. Well, you could leave some stuff behind, and I would be happy to scoop it up. I'd be best pleased scooping that shit up, you know? You know what I'm saying? I must have to, like, check every room, though, right? Like, this is... Must be... Oh, hey, how you doing? A trainer? Yes! I've already talked... How the fuck did I get lost in here? I've checked every room, I think. Pretty sure we've checked every room at this point. Hey there, how you doing? Uh, yes, you lived again, at least living next to you of Doctor's Land. Fantastic. And now we have found where to go. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, whoops. Well, that's embarrassing. <sighs> of course. I'm a fucking. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, who's talking right now? I don't even know. Oh, it's, uh, it's Girly Girl. You again from the Sun Touch Gym, right? Pleased to see you again, Harmony. You too, Padders. Nora. My name's Tane, if you don't remember. I'm part of perfection. Don't- Oh, don't worry, I didn't forget! Did you slap a child and you tried to kidnap Reshram? You at the back! I don't know why you're tampering with the power, but you better start explaining! Don't worry, Harmony. We'll turn the power back on. We just want to talk to you, that's all. Ruka, what are you doing here? Why are you here? I want to make a deal with you, Harmony. A deal? With the swords of the power of the horses of hospital? Are you actually blackmailing people with me with the power of the lives of the people here? Really, what happened to you? You used to be so- I have the power of cards, so stop talking. Thank you. That's right, it is me. It's been a while. I'm not a per person you knew anymore. I'm the leader of the perfection cult now. That's why I'm here, I was trying to find you. You're in the hospital here, right? You have access to all the patients in the building. You want access to the room containing the patient Mulde. That's my father's room, Ruka! There's no chance of lightning near him! And you know it! I thought you might say that. We actually have your father's best interests at heart, believe it or not. We know he's sick, and we know what his condition is. Let us help you. We can both get what we want here. I'll put the power back on, like he wants, and then we'll go in Malde's room on the top floor, and we can talk. Fine, whatever, just hurry up, you want to take you! Very well. Okay. Um, that, that was, that, this is okay. I don't, I don't believe him for a second, though. I don't believe this motherfucker for a second. You must be so different! Oh, well, you see that shit? What? Who's this Molly? More importantly, how does Harmony know a cult leader? No clue, but I'm planning on following them. Better you should just come along and have to have some bright. Alright. You're still not talking to me after what I said. I can't blame him. What I said was awful. I just hope they won't snap and betray us. Right up, I'm coming! I s listen, Nora, um, when it comes to betraying people, you're like number one in the shit list right now. They said the top floor, right? <laughs> they, 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 they said the top floor, right? Wait! Wait! It's it's the one with the, the sick guy. Yes, I knew it was the one with the sick guy. At least I got that one straight away. Are you crazy? I don't care how desperate I am. I'm not gonna let you force inject some weird chemical into his bloodstream. I don't mean to matter with her friends. I'm not even gonna let you touch him or any other patients here. You're a psychopath, a cultist, no way! Fine then. You can do it. Here's the vial. Analyze it, do whatever you need to. Dude, it can fit yourself, it's safe. Fine, maybe I will! Alright. Do you know why we want to use your father, Harmony? Molly was around during the original Delta incident and no one. After the Oxys was defeated above Mastip City, people below started reporting strange fevers. Everything ended up being just fine, but testing showed that everyone's DNA was slightly tainted. Not enough to be significant, but enough that, uh, to be noticed if you look closely. My point is that Molly's body may not re react to viruses in the same way ours do. And there's one particular thing that I find interesting. Hold on a minute, this is just Pokerus! This isn't dangerous, we've known about this for years! Exactly. The Pokerus is a very unique as infections go. It helps the Pokemon rather than hindering it. It allows it to go stronger. In the scientific world, we call this mutalism. What you're holding right now is a strain that specifically increases the H point. The H point! The health point stat! Now, even though the virus doesn't affect ordinary people, it might be able to help your father. And increasing his health point stat could heal it. People don't have stats? With some fine tuning, we might even discover a path to immortality. What do you say, Harmony? Uh, this is really just the Pokemon virus in the tube. How do, you, uh, how do I know you're not lying? You don't. I owe you, Harmony. And at the moment, our own just happened to cross. If you want your father to be healed, this could be a breakthrough for our cult research. It's merely a business transaction. Your father's life, our goals. Not only that, but if it works on him, it may work on you as well. You're right about the DNA thing, you told me that a long time ago. Huh? I'm desperate not to try it, but double cross me, Rook, and I swear. I'm glad to hear it. Alright, here we go. 
Let's just get this over with. I'm ready for him to fucking mutate into some disgusting fucking conglomerate of a Pokemon and a human. And it's just like fucking, you have to battle him and then it's, it's like this fucking giant blob of just flesh. Ugh, that's, that sounds horrible. Listen, I, I don't like needles. If you guys don't mind, I think I'm gonna wait outside. You was a bitch, Damien. Seriously? Is the room with the cult is he's scared of needles? Anyways, okay, Dad, hang in there. Three, two, one, go. Did it? Is, is he alive? I don't think it. Oh shit! It works. No, you are you you okay? Uh. I. Uh... Oh shit! Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? What is happening? Oh my god! It did! Ah! What? Oh my god! That's so gross! Ah! What the? Shh! Need to talk quietly, but be careful not to provoke him. Roka, what I also want to know to do, too. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not sure, but it looks a bit like Deoxys. I wonder if there's a connection. Would make sense. Deoxys is virus known for its stats. Perhaps the poker is an extension of this. You better fix him, Roka. I think he's been healed, at least. He should live longer, too. The only problem is the virus may have impacted his mind somehow. The ex experiment needs some fine tuning. But, anyways, we need to stay quiet. As long as we aren't loud, we can. Hey, guys, how did it go? You going to gay? Oh, you fucking. Oh, oh, goodness. Damien! Oh no. Oh, that's so weird! I wonder if, I wonder I wonder what happens in the light side of the story. Cause that's pretty fucking gross and disgusting and like creepy and I I like wow, that's really weird. What an idiot. What have you done? This is your fault! Well, this uh didn't go as quite as planned, but what a breakthrough it's been. I think we uh I think we could all agree that uh this is quite it came out as as quite quite the beneficial experiment, right? Yeah? If it really is emotional now, then I'm sure we can find a way to use it without the drawbacks. Do you care all that someone just got kidnapped? What about my father? What did you do to him? Ah, your father's fine. More fine than he's ever been, in fact. He's the healthiest he's ever been. As for the boy, nah, I'm sure he's fine. He may be infected, but the Pokerus helps, not hinders. My father would never do that. No, it's not really up to him at this point. And now it's time for me to take my leave. I have an appointment to keep with a gym leader. Are we gonna appreciate this? Your father is immortal now, after all. What a fucking son of a bitch. What a goodness gracious me! What a jerk! After all, Son and I did for him, you think he'd be a bit more- You think he'd be a bit more grateful? Damien! Yeah, we gotta go save him. Listen, Nora is it? We find your friend, I promise! Come with me, we'll try to find out where Molly took him! Uh, I like that very much. Please, you can help us if you want! They might find it more useful to head to Kepler City! What, I- I'm worried the worker might have been talking to Anastasia, the leader there, when he said he had an appointment. No, you can warn that she may be in danger. I appreciate it. Nothing small day. If you guys see him again, you have to let me know. We have to find a way to his horses. For my own sake, I have to believe that's possible. Come on, Nori, follow me. I'm sorry that that voice was, like, annoying and shit, but... That's just the voice that she has. I want to see where fucking Damien went. Why is it Damien keeps getting kidnapped? That's, like, the second time Damien's been kidnapped now. Oh, God. I can't get the image of that abomination out of my head. Makes me feel sick just thinking about it. Not only that, but it kidnapped Damien too. What is it with him and getting kidnapped? That was so gross, like some kind of fucking fusion of- Wait, did everyone clear- Did someone clear up the litter? Someone cleared up the fucking litter! Someone cleaned the litter! Oh. Oh, we're 10. So now it's magically open now. I- which I guess is cool. Hey there buddy, how you doing? A child trainer! Oh, how wonderful! Wow! You are creepy, aren't you? Uh, unfortunately, this is in the rain, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm, yeah I'm gonna be doing less damage with, uh, anti -Seti. So I can get him with Man Man, at least. As long as you don't have any- Oh, but you're lowering my attack, are you? Think, you think you're probably- You probably think you're probably fucking- Probably fucking cool! Pro properly! You probably think you're properly cool! I don't know what I was trying to accomplish right there with, with that little statement, but... Whatever it was, I did it! Um, oh wow, this is not a good situation. Let's get, uh, sure, let's get Seti in here. Cause we can just go for a quick hex or two, and we should be able to just like, destroy this thing, right? We don't want to shot it, you go for avalanche, and you miss, cause I have the laxant sense, thankfully, but uh, yeah, see you later, buddy. See you later, friends. I'm gonna turn down my uh, volume. Hopefully the volume isn't coming through the mic, because that would make me very upset, because then I have to do some audio magic to, to fix it. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it down here, okay. There. Now, it should be a little bit quieter. For me, at least. Not for you guys. I mean, it might be quieter for you guys. I don't know how this shit works. 
I need to put someone in the front slot. Let's get Liz in the front slot. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? How you doing? I only train the best and strongest in Pokemon. That way, I have no excuse if I lose. Oh, good. Let's see what you got here, then. Drodigon! I remember there was someone that wanted to trade a Drodigon for something, and I kind of for the life of me remember what it was. Oh, Pudding. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, it's body time. Sure. It's not... Go oh, it's not got rough skin. We had the leftovers, though. I forgot here, Drodigon. Are we gonna get a level up from that? Level up? No, not quite. Oh, what? You, you only have one Pokemon? How is it the best and strongest? Okay, so we can actually catch something here. So let's take a look and see what we can get. Oh, it's an Empoleon. That's so sad. It is Dupes Claws, though, so we can get another encounter. Which means that we're probably gonna find some kind of water type Pokemon. No, we're gonna find a fucking Maractus. Are you really? Really? Fucking Maract. Really? I don't even want this thing. I genuinely do not want this thing at all. <sighs> is there a Mega Maractus in this game? Because. Shit. I thought with the rain it would might not kill. I was wrong. Whoops. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was silly of me. So, we're not gonna get an encounter for this route. I'm gonna slap on our Pell. And we are going to go ahead. Oh, we have a charcoal here. I'm gonna keep the lax incense on Shadowlor though, because I feel like that's a better bet. I feel like that is better for us. Let's get Madman in the front here. I'm pretty sure Madman is still a corporal. Anti said he is still a private? I feel like Anti should give a promotion at some point. This battle was destined to happen! You can't avoid it on me! Well, I mean I could have. There's a little bit of this little path behind the trees there. I, I easily, like really easily could have avoided this, but I, I chose not to, so. Your little statement there means nothing to me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna Willow Wisp you. And the magic room! Oh, so I can't dodge your moves anymore. That's pretty clever, except you're dead and stuff. That would've been pretty clever if you weren't, you know, dead, dead and stuff. <laughs> okay, we got the, oh, Future Sight did a lot of damage. Okay, okay, let's heal up here. Ah, no, no. Oh, wow, okay, okay, that that scares me. That scares me a lot. Uh, Let's go to Pudding. Yeah, let's go to Pudding. Okay, yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun. Power Whip. Oh, don't crit me, please. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit, that's not fun. Level 60, though, we got a level 60. So we're getting up there in the levels. It, it seems like the level jumps have kind of calmed down a bit. It seems like um, the designers finally figured out that level jumps maybe aren't the best ways to increase difficulty. You know, maybe they're not. On Maelstrom 9, there's a patch of water that goes straight to the ocean floor. I wonder what can be there. Oh, and, and, then, and then we fight. And, and then we fight. Him only. Hit Mon Lee! Hit Mon Lee, Hit Mon! Okay, Wide Guard. Why does every, every Hit Mon Lee, Hit Mon Chan, and Hit Mon Top use those kind of moves? Like, why? What are you, what are you doing? Th this isn't even like a double battle or anything. Like, you're, you're wasting your turn. Like, what are you doing? I'm kind of surprised that Grimer isn't just like dissolving into a, a sandy sludge in all this rain. Hey there, buddy, how you doing? I'm out doing some field research for the leader. Can you get a kid to give me hands? I don't really feel like it. Like, if I'm being completely honest, I don't. I don't really care about your field work. Let's rock to him. Omnis Wind's gonna do nothing. Hey, rock to him. Oh, Hex is gonna do nothing because I don't have any status ailments on me. And now we're gonna outspeed you and take you out with the rock. You're right, guys. This is Game Boy Luke here. Ampharos. Okay. I'm kind of scared, but Signal Beam. Okay, that shouldn't take us out. Yep. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. An earthquake is going to destroy an Ampharos, though. I have to remember that we have Sap Zipper. I really have to remember that we have Sap Zipper. Um. I don't, I don't really need to learn Recover. Yeah, because we have like plenty of potions. Like, when when am I ever gonna use recover? In maybe a competitive sense, that would be good. But I like I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. Are we, are we, oh, we got some. We got some water there. How you doing? There? Dragons are the strongest type of Pokemon. Prove me wrong. No, no, dude, I agree with you, dude. I oh shit. Okay. Uh, minimize. Ah no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Earthquake. Oh, okay, earthquake. There's that earthquake. Get doubled. Okay. Ah, stop de dancing, please! Kill, kill, kill! Max damage, max damage! Yes! Oh my goodness. You can't de dance on me like that. You can't fucking de dance on me like that. That's not okay. That's not okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Whoa! Nice little glitch you got there. <laughs> I like it. Whoa! That's a nice little. Nice little end of the fucking route you got there, too! Whoa, where am I? There's nothing but water here. I'm lost! What, what, what is this? Is it, what the fuck? Where am I? Maelstrom 9. Am I supposed to be going this way? <laughs> is this is this right? I mean, we could catch Pokemon here. Can I dive? Okay, we, we can't dive right now. It goes right to the ocean floor, apparently. Okay. 
Well, I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. I guess I'll. I'm, mm, I guess, I mean, I, I can get an encounter here, so I, I might as well. Right? Let's try and get an encounter here. Uh, there goes the repel. And. Or, wow! Straight the fuck away, and it's a whaler. Nope. I have lots of water types already, and I'm not gonna waste another encounter on- Well, I mean, I did technically just waste another encounter, so that was my own fault. Whoops. Kepler's stated electricity comes from nuclear power. There's a reactor underground that generates huge amounts of energy every second. It's actually a lot steeper than people gave it credit for. Nuclear power isn't as dangerous as everyone thinks. That's actually true. Nuclear power is not, um, some kind of terrible, terrible, terrible thing. It's- it's, it's pretty good, actually. I see a lot of abyssal cultures around these parts. There's also a really deep ocean trench just out of here. What a funny coincidence, little dinkle. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Yo, did you break your fucking car or something? Whoa! Whoa, what is going on here? Everyone break their shit? Seriously, what? The leader of the Kepler is, is named Anastasia. She's one heck of a battler. She's a master of both steel and electric types. Oh, you're gonna have a fucking whale of a time in there, man, man. You're gonna have a whale of a time. I absolutely love living here. Not only do I love machines, but my her parents have built it. I have to honor my parents' memories by never moving away. What if they want you to get out and see the world, though? You gonna give me anything? Are you gonna give me anything? Oh, surf! You already have an item for that? Are you, are you serious? I had this this whole speech prepared, and uh, you know what? Just fucking take the thing. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Kids these days just have everything added to them. Oh, so we finally got surf! Oh, but defog? What? Fuck! No! No, I don't want de Why would I want defog? I mean, I, unless we have to use it at some point, in which case, why do we have to use defog? That makes me sad. Oh, give me something, give me something. No, nope, okay. I think the scariest cult is an infernal one. The members are, uh, oh, kinda creepy. Feels like they were brainwashed into joining. <gasps> oh. Oh, see, you can't have foreshadowing like that and just expect me not to notice it. The prophecy states that someone will betray their teammates and join the Inferno cult. And apparently all the Inferno cult members were brainwashed into joining. So whoever is the chosen one will get brainwashed into joining the Inferno cult and betray their friends, but they won't do it out of choice. That's how the story ends. Or that's how the story goes. That's exactly how the story's gonna go. That's that's it. I, I got it. I heard this huge rumbling, followed by gears turning. How bizarre. Sound like a <laughs> In the land, in the town of endless machines, I heard a machine. How bizarre, right? Okay. My Pokemon are much bigger. That's all that matters in the end. True. Size does matter, but only your Pokemon size, you know? Okay. I already talked to you. Thank you. What's up here? There's all these pipes and stuff. This is. It's kind of oh, there's the gym. There's the gym, and here is the. the fuck it. What the fuck is this? What, fuck, what is this? Where's? Whoa. What's? What's this? This is the observatory! Using the telescope, we can look at shit and, and see stars and... Whoa, it's pretty cool! She's always busy between being a gym leader and a researcher and an engineer to mention she has the free time at all! Wait, oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> hey there, buddy. <laughs> ah! Oh, sorry! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. One moment, please. Dr. Wrights, the telescope is completely fine. I don't know what the fuck you're... <laughs> There's a white glare in the middle of the image. It's clearly broken somehow. In the astronomy world, right, so we call that a star. But that's not what I... We'll talk about this later! We spent less time on that project than we lost more actually race our... Right, I said later, you fucking slut. And don't forget that a project of mine is what's funny us in the first place. Anyways, how can I help you? Ah, uh, so you're a challenger, nice to meet you. I'm Anastasia, I run the gym here. Uh, my gym's based around machines, I specialize in both... Specialize in both electric and steel types. I'd be glad to take you on. Harmony told me, told you to warn me about the perfection cult. When the lackeys might be coming after me. Mm, I see. Thanks for letting you know, but you don't need to worry. Let's just get going. I'm pretty busy at the moment. The sooner we can get this battle done, the better. Uh, all right. He's trying to fucking rush me. Don't rush me. Oh, what's happening? What? Oh, fuck. Whoa. The weather wasn't like this when I went to the building. Uh, this is kind of be natural. Sorry, I forgot the voice for a second there. What kind of machine could have possibly have created this? Not a machine, that's the Anastasia. I poke. I don't know who's talking right now. Oh, it's you. Audrey! How have you been, Anastasia? Uh, uh, you know, alive. The world is changing. Our plan's officially been put into action. This storm's only the beginning. Soon my Lugia storms will flood the entire world. I thought your group worshipped Kyoga. Oh, oh, we do, believe me, but Kyoga's true value is only revealed in specific circumstances. Those conditions are being created as we speak. Since leaders like you will be too busy trying to save citizens, we can't be stopped. Tell me, Anastasia. Have you ever heard of Thalassophobia? It describes mankind an innate fear of the deep, deep ocean. 
and soon, very soon, we'll be reminded of where it came from. Well, that's fantastic. The worst part is, she's right. I can't stop her. How do you protect people from the floods? But you, I'm not going to ask you to fight her. I can't ask that of some kid. But if you could uh, take this and find someone who could, I'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah, fuck that. I'm going to go fight her. If she has a Kyoga, uh, oh, if she has Kyoga, then she must be in the deep part of the ocean. And uh, the only place like that is around Maelstrom 9. Mm, the the Scooby Gear will let you dive down there. If the Abyssal God is putting their plan into action, now's the best time to end them. That's how I work in the movies, right? Yeah, we should have ended them like way before. Yeah, they're they're starting shit. Well, whoops. Um, anyway, oh wait, look at this. Yeah, everything is flooding. Look at that. oh everything is flooding. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Did I not heal? Okay, I did heal. All right, sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed it, please do destroy that like button right below this video. I'm gonna do some grinding in between episodes to get people up to snuff and get new addition to the team. So I'm gonna thank you so much for watching for now, and I will see you guys next time.